Hello and welcome everybody to English Center. Happy to see you all of you smiling faces once again. This is Humayun Kabi. Today I would like to talk on identification of parts of speech and today I'm taking another word that is high. This very word can be adjective, can be adverb and also can be a noun. Let's see. Okay, this word high can be an adjective, can be an adverb and also a noun. Let's have a look at the examples here. The houses are built on high ground. In this example, high is an adjective. Now definitely you are asking the question why it will be an adjective. Okay, very simply we can identify this one is an adjective because here ground, ground, this one is a noun. So this one is an adjective, okay. Noun can be modified by an adjective. So this way high is an adjective. And now you can ask another question that how to understand this one is a noun. Here we have on that is preposition. So after the preposition, definitely we have to have a noun or pronoun. So ground is not a pronoun because pronoun, the number of pronoun, pronouns are fixed. We know like he, she, it or oh, like they etc we know the, them so definitely this one is a noun okay what about other words the definitely determiner then houses here noun are verb or specifically we can say auxiliary verb built this one is verb then on preposition i've told already then high adjective and then ground noun Next example, the painter climbed high on the ladder. Okay, so here the word high is an adverb. Now the question is why? Okay, the painter climbed, the painter climbed where? Painter climbed high, like to paint. So here, where? It gives the answer, where? And we know if we ask the question with where, when, how or like frequency then we what we get that is adverb so definitely this is adverb okay what about the other words the determiner then painter noun climbed verb high i've told already then on this one is a preposition then the determiner and letter letter is a noun next example they were traveling at high speed what about this one this one once again this one is an adjective why adjective because here is speed it's a noun and how to understand very easily we can understand here we have at and at preposition and after the preposition we have to have noun so definitely speed is the noun and high adjective what about other words they pronoun were verb means auxiliary verb then traveling traveling verb at preposition high this is definitely adjective and speed noun next example well prices reached a new high last winter okay uh, what person speech is this this one is a noun why like here, reached, reached, then reached what? Okay, we need object, okay. So, well, then, uh, then, uh, then prices, then this one is the subject actually, then this is verb and new high, here it means the rate actually, price. So, this is noun and new adjective so let's start from here that is well prices this is the subject uh, both two things we will consider together okay otherwise we will not get the meaning actually so they two words together noun phrase so this one is considered as noun then reached verb then are determiner new adjective here because high is here noun and new adjective and are determiner and last winter if we consider two words together adverbial okay so it will be better but if we think that each and every word we will say what parts of speech 
then they, that way we can say also but that is not actually good way to consider okay better ways like uh, like considering total like here we are taking two words together and similarly if we consider this these two words together then it will be better so if we consider that way then it will be an adverbial because adverbial can be a single word can be a can be a phrase can be a clause too so still if we want to like identify what part of a speech like each and every word then definitely we can winter is a noun and last this one is an adjective because noun is modified by an adjective next one the hoax were circling high in the air or in the sky could be so this is an adverb why this one is an adverb okay let's uh, see the subject here the subject is hoax means bars actually or circling they were actually circling they were moving then they were moving where they were moving high actually so in the sky so high where it gives the answer where i told you before that if we ask the question with where when and how and also like how freak if we ask the frequency like how often then if we get the answer that is adverb so this one is an adverb but by other words the determiner then hoax bars actually noun definitely subject and war this one verb then circling verb two auxiliary verb the main verb high this one is an adverb then in the sky uh, this is a prepositional phrase like structurally but functionally here it is functioning as an adverbial why because they are circling where they are circling in the sky that means it indicates the place where in the sky so this is actually adverbial okay still if we consider that each and every word then that way we can say in preposition the determiner then air or sky now you can say air or sky now next example she achieved a career high in points so in this example high this one is a noun now the question is why it is a noun because she achieved what she achieved high that means a uh, career high that means rank like uh, like she became manager or like something more m like uh, gm something like this so she achieved a career high this one indicates object so this is noun here uh, and what about other words she definitely pronoun achieved verb a determiner career high so high is noun definitely uh, carrier this one is an adjective here but we can consider these two things together then it will be better that is carrier high carrier high as a single unit if we consider this way then it will be noun okay then actually carrier is noun but if we separately consider then carrier will be an adjective here then in points so in preposition and points definitely noun next example the lettuce were staked high on the table okay so here this word is an adverb now the question is why okay let's see the lettuce were staked lettuce were kept okay high it became high okay then on the table on the table that is like on the table okay then uh, war staked like how high it, it actually uh, there were lots of letters and one by one they have come and then there was like a stake so here this one is indicating or oh, this one is modifying this verb so that's why uh, a verb is modified by an adverb we know so this one agent uh, used this one has been used as an adverb what about other words the determiner let us now definitely subject then war verb means auxiliary verb and staked this is verb passive actually like let us didn't come willingly someone actually has uh, someone has put it there 
and high adverb and on the table on the table once again i have explained it here same way on the table uh, like uh, what structurally uh, this is actually a prepositional phrase but functionally this is adverbial why where if you ask the question where we get the answer where on the table so it indicates place but we can say that on is a preposition then the determiner definitely and table noun so i told you before that not to separate each and everything rather to consider the phrase is good okay if we consider this one is an adverbial it will be more evaluated thank you so much i hope you understood this one here if you still have any question so you are welcome to ask me in the comment box and i will try my level best to answer your question okay uh, if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe to my channel right now and i'm meeting you or i'm seeing you in the coming video last but not the least love your country and do something for the humanity goodbye